Okay, happy October, everyone. Sorry this has been a while since the pair of videos. I've been really busy with my jobs and all. To be honest, guys, if you guys want to see more videos, you're going to have to subscribe, find other people, try to help me build this channel more so that we can put more time into this channel. I'm willing and I want to put more effort into this channel, but the fact of the matter is I'm making no money off of the channel, so it's do something that makes money versus doing something that I enjoy that doesn't make money I'm gonna have to choose the money right now because, I mean, I have to keep on living. Anyways, guys, happy October. For anyone who's been following this channel for a while, you may already know I am not a fan of horror movies and all. But because it is October, I still want to do more of spooky movie season. So instead, I'm gonna keep to stuff I enjoy. Crime dramas, different stuff like that. And this time, the next couple years probably, because there's six seasons, each year I'm gonna... For each October, I'm going to go through and I'm going to review the one season of Grimm. For those who have not seen it, I own, I will leave it in the description, a link to where you can buy this you know, copy of it. This is a pretty good copy. There are better copies in my mind of it, but for as the most part goes, this has all six seasons in it and it's pretty good. You could buy it if you want after watching this and you feel like, hey, maybe I want to buy this. I'll leave it a link where you can buy this. Anyways, so basically, guys, this is... I'm going to put a quick review of the first three episodes in this video of Grimm. I'm going to keep it spoiler-free. I'm going to try to be very quick on each episode. This is probably going to be the longest out of the videos for Grimm this year because I'm going to have to explain the concept of the series as I explain the pilot, and then I'll go into the other episodes as well. So guys, let's just jump in the pilot. So in the pilot is where we inter we're introduced to our main character, Nick Burkhart. He is a police detective in Portland, Oregon, and we begin with him being a normal police detective, and he doesn't realize that he has this ability to see the true monster in these people. I will try not to go into any spoilers on the series. Maybe eventually, down the road, when this, this channel is bigger, I can dedicate, we'll make it 20 minute videos breaking down the episodes, explaining why they're so good, all the kind of, all the fun stuff that I really want to do, but I really can't right now. Anyways, it's basically based off of the Grimm Brothers fairy tales, creatures like the Big Bad Wolf, you can have creatures like the Three Little Pigs, and stuff like that, and each of these creatures can take the form of humans, but then they can turn back into the monsters they are. So the first episode is introducing us to this world. You see Nick Burkhart, the main character, as he discovers that he has this ability to see the monsters for who they truly are. And you see him like with his very first monster. So basically what happens in this episode is the villain is Big Bad Wolf. And basically what happens is people who are wearing red, a lot of times these are like children, college students, people like that, like, when wearing red hoodies, are just suddenly going missing. In the beginning, you have one character get murdered, and then later on, you have a little kid disappear. And now, they're on the search for this kid who got kidnapped, who's wearing a red hoodie. So basically, what happens is, while Nick Burkhart, the main character, is figuring out about his powers and figuring out how this works, he suddenly realizes that this might be connected to the kidnapping. So then he's looking for what's called a, a blue bun, which is the big bad wolf. That's the name of the species, the big bad wolf, in this series. So basically, he's going on this adventure trying to find this, and no one else in the precinct knows about this. So he's the only one who's like, he's trying to figure out, and you see him meet other vessins, as they're called, these monsters, on his journey as he's trying to find this one character. Very interesting. First episode, I fell in love with the series after watching the first episode, and it's a great start to the series. It really pushes you in. You get to meet multiple different Vessin in it. So now, without further ado, the second episode. It's called Bears Will Be Bears. It's basically the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. And you see, basically what happens is Goldilocks, in this case is this young couple, breaks in, in the beginning of the episode, into this rich people's cabin and they're having this party the three bears come back and they manage the girl manages to get get away but the boy gets captured and so the whole thing is wow 
in one way, they're trespassing, in the other way, now there's a missing person, and they have to like search through these people's property, trying to figure out, and I won't spoil what happens, but basically, uh, it's basically the story, Goldie Locks and the Free Bears. Very good job. This is the episode where I was just like, huh. It, now all this stuff was filmed in Canada, I believe, but I'm like, it may, it was still supposed to be like it was from Oregon, so there's a lot of like sceneries, especially in the first couple episodes, they really like push in, this is the scenery, and this episode is especially, it's like one of those scenes where like, oh, I really want to live in Oregon after watching this, because this scenery looks amazing. This, like, I would love to live in this cabin, because this cat is like a really nice, rich person's type log cabin, and it was awesome. But the first couple episodes are really big on, like, sewing machinery, and so showing how it looks in Oregon. It's really nice, and it's a really, like, lo love letter to Oregon. Now, one thing I haven't really talked about yet, but it's in the first and second episode, and into the third episode as well, you have this whole con, this whole thing going on with, so, Nick Bocock is figuring out about his powers because his aunt, who's also a Grim, is in town. And so, the whole thing is, at the end of the first episode, she goes into a coma. In the second episode, you have this whole thing going on with, you know, trying to, she's in a coma. And then we go into the third episode, and she's still in the coma. And this is where it comes into, there are people trying to kill her in while she's in the coma. And the, basically... Through this whole this time, through these first three episodes and all the way through, this third episode is big on this, right? So in the first two episodes, you have this character. I'm not going to give her name, but the point is she she's this witch. That's her. She's called a Hexen Beast. That's what they're called. But she's like a witch, basically. And she's trying to, trying to kill the ant, but she keeps not being able to get away with it. So in this episode, it's really big because now we have the big conclusion to what is going on with that. And that is that now these Hexen Beasts are suddenly just starting to get killed off in the way of a bunch of beast things. But one giant beast thing, basically. And so now you're figuring out that there's this bee vessel who is killing off the Hexen Beasts, just like how pigs and wolves are, are enemies in this universe and all that kind of stuff. Basically, so these giant bee vessels are trying to kill off these Hexen beasts and at the very end of the episode, it's a very interesting episode, I mean, you have one character having to protect the ant from being killed by the Hexen beasts and all in this episode. But one of the big conclusions that happens in this episode is very at the very end of the episode, the villain of this episode is warns the main character is we are your allies there's a bigger enemy coming be warned and then she gets killed off but it's one of those really interesting things with now is setting up what who who is the big bad i mean you have this hexen beast who's trying to kill off the ant she's looking for someone else and i won't give away who it is but basically the point is this is bigger concept like wow there's an, all these episodes are just this mystery that gets solved at the end of the episode. There's this concept of how, as he's figuring out solving these mysteries, he's learning more and he's trying to figure out what is going on. So now we are done with these first three episodes and we're going into this concept of okay, so we understand now the Vessin world and we understand some of the stuff, but we don't understand fully. And there's this feeling of what is going on, who is behind all this, like who is trying to kill off the glimpse so anyways guys so basically what happened so basically guys that's the first three episodes i love this series hopefully i can get through the first i can get through the first season in this month and be able to i i can't wait to see you guys' opinions if you guys haven't yet please check out this series i love it again you guys can buy i'll leave in the description where you guys can buy this copy of it Anyways, the point is, I really love this series. Tell me your thoughts. If you guys haven't seen it, please check it out. If you guys have, tell me your thoughts without spoiling it in the comments section. What's your thoughts about this series? I really like it. I'll see you guys around. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. This has been the Movie Naked View. Peter Wayne, signing off.